we're not proponents of New Year's resolutions. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I know that you and I are both proponents of just straight up resolutions, right? Decisions. Mm-hmm. Like, make a decision, resolve to do this thing, then go for it, right? Yes. Um, it doesn't matter if it's at the beginning of the year. It doesn't matter if it's first quarter. It doesn't matter, right? It really does not matter when it is that the decision is made. But when you resolve to do something, go for it, mm-hmm. right? Like, just go for it. But it requires that there is a shift in the approach. There's a requirement that there's a shift in the attitude. Um, and there's a willingness, right, to to experience the experiences that we're going mm-hmm. through as we're making those changes. Because just like you mentioned, mate, like when it's sunny and warm and the you know the environment's delightful and we're optimistic and mm. all of those sorts of things like life's easy yay you know off we go and it's easy to get a couple of runs on the board but the moment there's resistance that's present oftentimes that's when people start to um to like regress on on the work that they've been putting in 100 percent. i wanted to uh, share with you that that's at the start of the year when people do make some resolutions or goals etc mm-hmm. it's that first resistance point mm. that's when things change mm. can they go can they get past that resistance point mm. and then keep going mm. will then make the difference between whether you're just saying it or whether you really want to do it a hundred percent man and the thing about it is that when you do go beyond that initial resistance point there's there's absolutely 110 percent guarantee that you're going to get another resistance point (laughs) (laughs) don't we know too much about that